Hey guys, welcome back. So I did want to do a quick little update. I know this is kind of like my health journey update, um, but I definitely wanted to kind of throw in there for those of you who follow me because of TTC that we are on to the next cycle. Um, yeah, so we will get into all of that in another video, but um, today I just wanted to kind of let you guys know what's been going on with my health journey, and yeah, so let's get started. First, also, I want to just mention that I just got out of the shower, so please ignore me. Um, go ahead. In my first month, um, I kind of took things slow. I did the potato diet for a few days to kind of kickstart everything. Um, started integrating in healthier snacks and eating more vegetables and drinking lots and lots of water. And um, I started exercising and I was doing um, these exercises that are from a channel called MadFit and love her videos. They are amazing and I've had so much fun following them. They really get the job done while you're still having fun. You don't have to dedicate a whole, whole lot of time to it, which is great. Um, so you really have no excuse not to kind of include it into your day at some point or another because, I mean, I think the longest videos are 30 minutes, but majority of them are under 15 minutes. It's wonderful programs. Um, okay, so the difference with this month, we decided to start going to the gym. It was something we had kind of went back and forth on because I felt like the exercise programs that I was doing at home were plenty challenging enough. I definitely felt like I was getting my workouts in every day. However, gym just kind of offers some things that we didn't have access to at home and you know taking advantage of the equipment is definitely expanding what I'm able to do. So going to the gym was a no-brainer. The entire family signed up and we have been going to the gym for a little over two weeks now because um, we actually signed up right before Valentine's Day. So we have been going to the gym and it's a lot of fun. Usually try to mix up what we're doing. Um, we're going to Planet Fitness so I don't know if any of you guys are members there but they have a section that is a 30 minute express workout. Um, the one that we go to has it in like a separate area from the rest of the gym and it's basically a circuit workout so you'll start at station one and you'll work your way around to station 20 and by the time you've done everything um, you've spent a, roughly about 30 minutes in there and worked head to toe. It's got all the equipment in the, in the workout to pretty much work all the muscle groups. So it's a great way to kind of knock out a good workout quick and my daughter is loving the 30 minute workout. So we've been hitting the treadmill or the elliptical when we get there, getting in some cardio and getting warmed up and then going and hitting the 30 minute circuit. And then when we get done from that, sometimes we'll, you know, maybe hit a couple of other um, machines, abs, things like that. And she's loving it. Like, I'm so proud of her because instead of being, um, like, disappointed that we're going to the gym, she's disappointed if she finds out that we went without her, which is awesome and it's going to help her with her softball training. So, uh, and I love just knowing that we're doing this all as a family. So instead of going out as a family to go out to eat or, you know, something like that, like we used to have our little family outings going out to eat, now we're going to the gym together. Um, and then the Sam's, like Sam's Club is next door. So then, you know, we've been getting all our good food 
from Sam's and then going home and cooking good meals and doing good. And that, that's actually what our plan was today or what we did today. Um, as soon as my daughter got out of school, we scooped her up and headed off to the gym, worked out, went to Sam's, got some chicken and bell peppers and onions and we came home and we cooked and enjoyed a nice meal at home with everybody and yeah. So it's great and I really like that it seems to be bringing us all together um, and it's just so weird that it's doing that. So there has been some struggles this month. I'm not going to lie, I said I was going to be completely and fully transparent and I have struggled more this month than I did last month. I think last month I just kind of had that, you know, that new year's resolution drive and i'm gonna do this and i just i really had a lot of just excitement about this new journey and i still have that excitement but i'm definitely struggling a little more this month than last month and i think i, I honestly don't know why i'm trying to listen to my body and I, the sugar cravings have been in this month and uh, it's specific things it chocolate been the main one and I have been allowing myself dark chocolate um, trying to you know be mindful of how much I eat but I have allowed myself dark chocolate I've completely cut out you know snack cakes and ice cream and things like that which we used to have in the house all the time and now we don't keep any of that kind of stuff so the dark chocolate has been that go-to for something sweet for me and I mean it it gets the job done to an extent um, I, I still definitely still have the cravings for sweeter stuff and it's, it's been hard it, it really has been hard um, matter of fact like I've mentioned, we have been trying to eat better, but we still do have some meals that are just flat out cheat meals. It is what it is because we're not trying to make ourselves miserable on this because you know if we make ourselves miserable, we're never going to stick with it. So it's not going to be the type of thing where you can say you're never going to eat a certain type of food ever again because it doesn't fall within the limitations of healthy eating. Um, and something that I wanted so, so bad like a week ago was chicken and waffles. I wanted chicken and waffles so, so bad. So that's going to be fried chicken and then waffles drenched in syrup. Yeah, that's not clean eating. That's not healthy eating. But let me tell you, it was good. It was really, really good. Unfortunately, after that night of splurging and having that really great meal, um... I found that the sugar craving hit me twice as hard the next day. Like, I, I don't know if it was just getting the taste of that syrup. Just kind of like set something off of my brain that said, you know, that was good last night, you want more. But like literally the next few days after that were the worst for sugar cravings. Today has not been so bad. Um... Yeah, today hasn't really been bad, but I, I have had my fair share of kind of tough days. I know another thing I've struggled with is I had mentioned in last month's video that my husband has switched completely over to zero calorie soft drinks. Um, so like Pepsi Max or Coke Zero. And um, that's, that's great because that option is there to where when he was drinking regular drinks not say he all of us were drinking them but we had the like full calorie versions of these soft drinks all the time in the house sweet tea all the time in the house we haven't made a gallon of sweet tea since all this started and the only drink soft drinks that have been brought in the house have been zero calorie soft drinks so it's nice to be able to have that around because that kind of helps with the sweet cravings as well. So we've been just kind of trying to take better 
or just take better measures when it comes to our choices. Another thing we did was when we were at Sam's, because you know they sell everything in huge quantities, we got a big huge bag of craisins. I think it was like a three pound bag of craisins. There's a good bit of sugar in dried fruit, but it's still better than alternative. It's better than ice cream or a snack cake or you know something like that. So we have that so that if somebody you know gets a little munchy, wants a little bit of something sweet, you know, you can just get you a little handful of craisins, and there you go. Um, I've recently found out that Laura bars are amazing. A little high in calories, but they do seem to kind of curb your appetite, and very few ingredients. I think there's six ingredients in them, um, so those have been great. So yeah, we've really been making a lot of progress. But, me with my water, it's been a struggle this month. I have been drinking my water every single day still, but I'm having a hard time um, getting it down. Last month, it was a breeze. I wasn't even thinking a thing about it, and I was going through, you know, multiple water bottles every single day. Probably six, seven, eight water bottles every single day. Um, now I'm doing good to get through three because it's almost like I'm having to kind of choke down the water and I don't know why that I'm seeming to have a harder time. I'm getting majority of my water intake in now and I'm going to the gym just because I'm thirsty and you know I'm hot I'm trying to recover so getting my water in has been a little bit of a struggle. I think today I've had four bottles of water. So, nowhere near what I need to be taking in. Um, but it's just, I mean, I'm being transparent. I'm being upfront with you guys. This has not been a perfect journey, but we're still making strides in the right direction. Uh, so, now I'm sure the question that everybody's wanting to know is, have I lost weight this month? And if so, how much? So the answer is yes, I have lost weight this month and my goal for every single month is between 7 to 10 pounds and I know as time goes on it is going to be harder and harder and harder to hit that goal because you just kind of get to a point and you plateau a bit. Um, but for right now we're saying 7 to 10 pounds. Last month I weighed in at 219 0.4. This month I weighed in at 211.6. So, funny thing, or no, did I tell you right? Let me, let me double check myself. I may have told you wrong. 211.8. Because I'm sitting here mentally adding this up in my head. Okay, so the funny thing is, I started at 227 and then that was January 1st. February 1st I weighed in at 219.4 so that was a loss of 7.6 pounds. So I started the beginning of February at 219.4 and I went to the beginning of January at 211.8 which is also a loss of 7.6 pounds. I lost exactly to the T the exact same amount of weight this month that I lost last month. It's crazy. Um, so yeah I'm right on track. I'm right along where I want to be and I'm, I'm happy with it. I cannot complain whatsoever um, and I don't really know if I'm going to, I don't know if I'm going to aim for getting under 200 pounds this month, but I think that's what I'm going to do because I've got 11.8 pounds before I get under that 200 mark. If I'm losing 7 pounds already, like I feel like I could put in that extra work and try to hit that 200 mark by the end of March or by April 1st. You guys, if I'm able to do this, I will be back under 200. I have not been under 200 in probably 
three years. Yeah, probably about three years. So since the beginning of the year, I am down 15.2 pounds, which is awesome. I'm so excited. So 15 pounds down and we're just going to keep on trucking. And yeah, we'll see where we wind up. Um, other than that, I can't really think of anything. I've been enjoying going to the gym. It's been a challenge. It's not easy because I'm very out of shape, but I am trying my hardest and I'm already noticing things getting easier. Um, I'm already noticing that I'm... Even though I'm not losing more weight this month than I did last month, like I feel like size wise I have lost more size this month than I did last month. Um, definitely noticing a difference in the way my clothes are fitting. Not at the point yet where I can size down, but I'm getting pretty close in pants being able to size down. Um, my, my pants are getting a little bit baggy. So, and I've also noticed that shirts, and I know that a lot of you are going to know exactly what I'm talking about, with my t-shirts, especially with me being blessed upstairs, I would have to wear like a tank top or an undershirt underneath my t-shirt because, you know, if I move the wrong way or whatever, that t-shirt was kind of peeking the bottom of my belly a little bit. I mean, it wasn't like the belly was hanging out the bottom of my shirt, but, you know, I needed that extra length provided by the tank top just to make sure that everything stayed hidden from the public because nobody wants to see that. I don't have to do that now. I've been wearing my t-shirts without that extra tank top for length, so that right there is showing me and proving to me that I'm making progress. Um, super, super exciting. I've also noticed that my wedding band is getting very loose. It spins and flips and flops all over the place. Um, so that shows me that I am losing weight in my fingers and my hands. I still have sausage fingers, but you know, whatever. I've always had sausage fingers, but yeah. So my ring is getting quite loose on me. I would say if I lose another probably 15 to 20 pounds, I'm going to have to definitely get my ring resized. That's a great problem to have. That's all I'm going to say with that. Just like having to go clothes shopping, I'm not going to be upset at all. I uh, might wait until summer and go clothes shopping and take you guys along with me because it's going to be exciting being able to go clothes shopping and not be in plus size. I mean, it's been a little while since I've been able to do that, so, uh, I guess that's going to be it. Um, can't really think of anything else to add in for this month, but we are still chugging along, so, I love you guys so, so much. Go ahead and click that subscribe button down below, add any comments or questions you may have for me, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.